Okay, to knit the sleeve on this particular garment, there's my schematic, and on the other side that's my pattern. I need to know how many stitches I need to cast on. And I'll pull up the appropriate number of needles and cast on my yarn in what I call an E-wrap, which is the prelude to having a hem. And this edge can be turned up after the hem rows are knit. My yarn is coming through the tension arm and I put my row counter to zero so I'm ready and my stitch size to the appropriate stitch size according to my pattern and I start the first few rows have to be helped until the work is long enough to catch in the brushes on the carriage. There's my hem. Now that needs to be turned up to form a hem, which I do with one of my, use it using my uh, multi-prong tools. And picking up the cast on loops that I put on initially. and hook them onto the needles, thereby label the squirrel across my roof. Okay, now the hem is formed. So I'm going to hang some weights at the very edge of the hem to keep the work on the needles. There we go, that'll keep it secure. Set my row counter back to zero again. Increase, adding 10 and stitches across after having knitting, knitted the cuff. I pull all the needles out on my garter bar. Make sure all of the needles are in this apparatus. Pull the knitting off the needles onto the garter bar. There, it's separated. Pull up the extra needles that I need, line them up. Rehang, this can be tricky. Putting the stitches back on the needles, however, creating a space 10 times, which I'll fill with 10 new stitches. There. The work is rehung with 10 spaces. They're hard to see unless you're close up. I create 10 new stitches. Now I'm ready to knit my sleeve. So following my pattern, I increase, and this is a sleeve with stripes, so I'll be changing colors. Pull up a needle to get a new stitch, to increase by one on either end. 
go up to my next point of increase, new stitches, next increase. I think that's enough of that color. So I'll cut the color off and thread in a new color. There's the new color. On. Threaded through the tension arm and the tension wires. Plate in my old color. Just work it in. Thread the new one into the carriage. And start. And more increases. stitch size, Knit a nice big row of big stitches, Oops. pull out all of the needles, start to take the weights off, my sleeve is nice and long now, all done. And I link off the stitches manually. This is called linking off, or cost, it's costing off. Push the needle safely back into resting position, remove, remove my last weight, and I have my sleeve. Got the sleeve which is curly and unpressed. Put it on the ironing board, make sure my iron is heated up to the wool temperature with lots of steam and lots of water. And I just press it very carefully, always using lots of steam for wool. Okay, so now as you can see it's nice and, and pressed flat. Okay, and while I've got the iron on, I'll press the little decoration that goes on the back of the sweater as well. Okay, put that aside for later. As you can see, the sweater already has one sleeve attached. Now I have to attach him. Seconds. Just pick up the edge edge stitches. Now the cuff is done. The cuff is sewn together. Now I'm going to put the sleeve on the sweater. Now I'm going to go with the link now. So first I put, push the sleeve edge of the body of the cardigan onto the spiky needles of the linker. My linker's all threaded up. I don't stretch the work, just 
Let's push it on right on the very edge of the work. Very carefully pushing the work on. There's my underarm marker in the back. So I have the body of the sweater on. See, that's the neck, that's the front. Now I put the sleeve on in the same manner. But so it goes on evenly, I put the back on and the front and then ease it so that it goes on evenly and there are no puckers or stretched out points. Put it on very close to the edge. There. Now the sleeve is hung. Point it around a bit. And it blinks. It's very unnatural, but I guess you have to do that. So are you zooming in and then I'll sleeve is now attached to the body of the sweater. It's linked on. Now I do the underarm in the same way. Putting this there. I finished. Cut off my end threads. And this is the inside, but I now have my sleeve attached to my sweater. Here I Spend a little bit of time grafting the side seams of the sweater. They're not done on the linker. I graft them by hand. Consuming. Makes them repetitive, nice. but quiet and actually quite soothing. I enjoy this bit. I will work to do a multicolored striped cardigan. I'll choose from those colors. Some of them are and orange and yellow mm -hmm. and come out with stripes.